No, like, he, he has a problem, like, staying erect. Like, when we are intimate, um, it's really hard. I have to work really hard to make him hard, you know. Like, it's really hard to make him, huh. you know, actually in, like, he's in the mood and he wants to. And he's he's so frustrated because he says this has never happened with any other Oh, how interesting. Partner. How old a guy is this um, doctor? Yeah, like, he's he's doesn't want to take medication for it. He feels that, you know, it's something personal that he can overcome himself. All right, and what's the other one? Um, the other one, I mean, he's not the doctor. I mean, he lacks in other areas, but the sex is amazing with him. I mean, there's no complaints whatsoever. I mean, satisfies me. One, I think you're, here, here's my deal. Get rid of both of them. Right, get rid of both these guys. You're not really into either of them. Not the way you should be. I, I, I have a little, just listening to you, Emma, um, was your dad not so nice to you or something, or just uh, not not real bad, but like you drink a little well, bit or? Well, no, like my I know, I've never met my biological okay, father. Okay, okay. Um, but my That's stepdad, true. I mean, he was I mean he was like he wasn't abusive or anything like that. He was just typical stern, strict dad. Strict, all right. Strict. He was super strict and was the first one an alcoholic and took off or something. Um, he was into drugs. Yeah, okay, so you had, you had a, your real dad's a drug addict, and yeah. I, I just I just feel that split in you so deeply that there's there's yeah. all this sort of split ideas about yourself with a man. Yeah. You know, you can't you can't be whole with any one guy. You have all these split per parts of yourself, and sex is here, and that's but I can only have sex with a bad guy, and I give you the good guy, and I'm worth a good guy, but that good guy I choose. I'm, I'm a, you know, he's really not what I want, but I'll have to settle for that because really I'm not worth anything more than that. You're worth more than both these guys put together. Okay, you are. And if you can't really realize that, then you maybe need to get a little therapy to kind of tie all those parts of yourself together. Not every man in the world is your dad or your stepdad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think there's still there's a residue still from those guys. As much as much good as much you love both of them, some of their not so pleasant per parts of themselves have left a residue on you, and you're having trouble reconciling all that. Drew, are you upset that she gave doctors a bad name because he can't keep an erection? Uh, how dare you? Why are you implying something? Well, I mean, you I know, mean, I'm just saying. stressful doctors, stethoscopes all yeah, day, I'm patients, BS. But I, did you, did you guys feel that? I feel there's a deep. I, ne I never, I never thought about you and erection in the same. Thank you. In the I same thank you. Ever in my thank life, you. painful, uncomfortable erection, <laughs> well beyond. But back again, you know, where's the music, Anderson? Yeah. The striker and me, and you know, painful erection. Oh, no, 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 the music. <laughs> no, no, stop it now. Not that good. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyway, oh, yeah, I could I feel that feel yeah. Not that music. <laughs> <laughs> that's a spy movie. Oh, it's Brokeback a... Mountain music. Oh, that's Brokeback Mountain? Yeah. Yeah, really I never saw that. that. Oh. Did you, you saw this movie, didn't you? I did not like it. And not, it had, it had not anything to do with the subject matter. I just, like, it's when... seen cinematography. There was no payoff. I was just like, wow. The tent was the payoff. <laughs> the tent scene was <laughs> ramming him. Oh, faggot no. Faggot better run. Faggot <laughs> better run. All right, all right. All that right. was me. Are you faggot? You're not, you're not interested in me. Come on. <laughs> all right, Craig, we need help with this one, okay? Okay. Please. Uh, Craig Ferguson is here, by the way. He's been up since about 6 in the morning. He's been on early radio. He did a television show, which a lot of people watch tonight on the East Coast, and a lot more in one hour from now out here. I can't wait to go watch you after seeing you. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's the miracle of TV. <laughs> I want to take a picture of you with you tonight and put it on my TV while I'm watching. Okay. So it's kind of like I'm uh, on it with you. Uh, 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 whatever makes you happy. Music, please. Oh, yeah. You guys are crazy. You guys are lunatics. No, no. No. Jason. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jason, you're on Loveline. What's going on, man? Chris. Hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Okay. Cool, man. Get to it. Uh, yeah, I had um trying to see if I could get some help. Uh -oh. I've been doing doing uh prostitutes for like a couple of years now. How often? Like at least once every couple of weeks, at least two or three times, two two times every couple of weeks. Where do you find these girls, and how much does it cost? Like I find them off of uh, Craigslist. Right. Craigslist. And how much? Nothing to do with me. I'm just, just, just checking. Just checking. Just my, checking. my list is is not on the internet. <laughs> so, hey, hey, how much? Hey, how much is that? How much is it these days? Yeah, it's like for an hour, it's like 150. 
Are you having? Are you spending a lot of money? Are you losing relationships? Are you getting legal problems or health problems? Uh, just losing a lot of money, and uh, I was in a relationship with somebody for like almost four years, and I cheated on her like multiple times. All right, you, you have basically two. Were you sexually abused growing up? Yeah, well, it was a couple, a couple different times. All right, all right. So you kind of have a, a recipe for sexual addictions. The sexual addictions usually are preceded by sexual abuse in childhood, and you might want to check out an SA meeting or an SAA meeting, and uh, you know, be, put your butt in a seat and ask, raise your hand, look for a sponsor, and do a little work there. If you can't do that, don't feel comfortable doing that. Maybe an individual therapist. There's an organization called SASH, Sexual, Sexual. Oh, what is it called? Society for the Advancement of Sexual Health, S-A-S-H. They have a website. Yeah, just Google SASH, S-A-S-H. And there's a whole referral list of people in wherever you happen to live uh, for people, professionals that deal with this problem. Jason, you ever call up one of these hookers and you go there and it's like a huge man that robs you? Has anything like that ever happened? No, actually nothing like that has ever happened. And, and, and here's the deal, Jason. You, you want to have a more productive life. You're starting to feel bad about yourself because this, you become this guy. You become the guy that's doing nothing but seeing hookers. See if you can stop. See if you can stop and actually go out and have relationships and focus on productive things that don't that make you feel good about yourself. And yeah, if you can't, really then you get help with that. I feel really guilty about Yeah, well, forget the guilt. It's just not, you become guilt, that guy. Guilt is a, it's a weird thing. Yeah. Guilt, guilt seems to be around every single addiction I ever come across. Absolutely. The, the, the guilt and embarrassment. Um, I think embarrassment kills more addicted people than, than any drug. It's just like the embarrassment of asking for help. Just the shame of... I'm like this. But you know what? When, when you do stuff that you don't want to do, like, isn't that, isn't that, that, that clearly is, is messing with you, right? I mean, you're, 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 you're committing behavior, you're involved in behavior, Jason, that you don't personally approve of. Right. Otherwise, why are you phoning a radio station and, right. you know, at this time of night? You're, and you're that guy now. Yeah, yes, I, guy. I really feel for you, man. I really understand that because the whole idea of doing stuff and you don't know why you're doing it and you don't like that you're doing it, but you're doing it anyway, it's like someone else is driving your car. It's, 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 it's not fun. And really, there, there are plenty of people that can help you with this. And you, you shouldn't be, you know, don't beat yourself up, if you pardon the expression. You don't beat yourself up over the, the shame of this. Right. You know, it, it, shame is just a byproduct of addiction. Just get That's past right. it. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. And the crazy thing about shame and guilt is it just makes you do more. Sure. Yeah, it does, it'll it does keep not help. you there. It doesn't help. It doesn't somehow motivate you to go out of this. It keeps you in it. Yeah. We're going to go to a break. Craig Ferguson is here. Late show with Craig Ferguson. He's going to be in Vegas the 26th to the 28th of October at the Orleans. Not Emmy nominated Craig Ferguson. Congrats on that, by the way. Thanks very I'm much. Sorry it took me so long to bring that up. No, but don't worry about it. It's okay. I didn't win, so that's, I'm over it. That's all right, but you got yeah. nominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. All right, we'll be back in just a minute with Craig on Love Line. Love Line. We'll be right back. Want to hook up and hang out with some new friends? Or maybe you're searching for that special someone. Mm. Text the word CHAT to 82582 to meet thousands of new people instantly. That's All right, we are back on Love Line. Thanks for listening. Craig Ferguson is here. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, Monday through Friday at 12.35 on CBS. And uh, it, it, can anyone just go and watch your show? There are we people listening all over here that come to L.A. and visit. They want to come see you. i got a couple of MySpace messages asking me to ask you. Is there a phone sure, number? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do they get in to see you? They can go to the show website, and you can book tickets through that. The show website is uh, cbs.com, and then The Late Late Show. You can find it from that. But, yeah. We have an audience in every day. You are you course, course, you're not trying to move you to New York or anything. Are you going to stay out here? Oh, yeah. I'm not yeah. going anywhere. I'm staying here. Yeah. Plastic surgery and of course, you know, all that. Yeah. Hot weather. You know, I'm staying here. <laughs> so uh, is the Price is Right done where you're do in the same, same uh, building? Same yeah, building, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, you see your old acting buddy, Drew Carey? Yeah, yeah from time to time. I haven't seen him recently, actually. I don't know why. I guess he's been busy doing the show. Yeah, first yeah. episode aired, aired today. It aired today. Yeah, I didn't see it. Did you see it? I watched it. Oh, was it good? He, a, he did a good job, but B, this lady. 81, uh, I think it was like $14,000. It was jumping up and down, and the floor, I guess, had just been waxed, and she wiped out <laughs> and smashed oh, her no. tailbone. Oh, and she was like, ah, no. ah, ah. Did you say something funny? Or? Uh, 
She was screaming with excitement and then pain, and he was just kind of standing there going, "What have I got myself?" <laughs> yeah, into yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, he He'll love it though. He's 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 built for that show. He's yeah. made for it, and he just got engaged, you know, Drew. Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. yeah.